Hi there, sign of cancer. This is Kim. Wow. Gonna do your reading. Um, 33. The number three, 33. Um, in the pre-shuffle. That was amazing. It just kind of it took me off guard. It was like right there. 33. So what we're gonna do is pull um, a Celtic cross for my cancers for your next 48 hour. You take it how it resonates. Sometimes it can be for a longer span of time than just 48 hours. I mean, it just kind of uh, depends on how you, how you resonate with it, of course. Um, Osho Zen Tarot is what I'm using. I usually blend these decks, but I don't want to get like a ton of Kipper and none of this deck because that seems to be happening lately. <laughs> so... I am going to just split them, take them from twos. So I saw the two cups. I saw the page of cups. Osho Zen Tarot is a little bit different. Um, it's a very, this reading is going to be geared towards you, the inner you, the inner psychology, like, of you. <laughs> Not um, necessarily big events or anything happening around. It's usually the inner it is talking about your inner self so yeah and I do take reversals uh, for all my cards just because it doesn't work out the other way it never worked like the message is never it's completely different for me if I do it the other way but that's just my my way other people have different ways but um all right so the four of swords in the reverse is on the bottom of the deck and um this has to do with you being very, very busy. Perhaps you're working a whole, whole lot. The Eight of Cups wanted to come out on the pre-shuffle, which could have to do with really needing to detach because of being just like <clears throat> in the middle of something. Hang on one second. Throat chakra. <clears> throat> Maybe I have something to say, but... <clears throat> need the time to think about it to think about something <coughs> excuse me okay, okay that's good for the outcome hmm. oh wow okay wow so the message I'm really even getting is that you do need to take time out because something can go there's a couple of paths and one way is definitely not the way you want to go so this is an important reading for you um Opening up to your spirit team. I always open up for your spirit team to join us. Um, this could seriously have a lot to do with um, your your safety, your pentacles, your feeling of safety. Um, okay. Let's get a different deck to clarify with. So the nine of wands is past energy. These are two energies here, past to future. Both are exhausted and tired. Okay, so we can change these. We can definitely change these. There's some kind of rest that you can take that if you uh, rest up, that's what you're going to need to do. You're going to need to rest. You'll have to. There's change coming in and there's communication. This change could be, it could bring in swift change fast communication um the nine of of ones associates with sagittarius energy mainly and that it's um you know <laughs> you're the wounded soldier you're you're putting in the work but you're definitely like exhausted with it mm -hmm. so this type of exhaustion can bring the the body to feel some kind of imbalance of balance with that justice energy there so that's why that's coming out um when the scales are are tipping like 
over like something is just a little too stressful or I don't know something's a little too stressful is what's coming out and I mean oh this energy is here uh, as the issue too with the five of wands it's it's needing to cooperate with others so that one person isn't left like in this car like so that we all work together for the highest good right that that's kind of what this is saying and it's saying a healthy competition is is good healthy competition is good uh, for growth for innovation and stuff like that there is something that has an ending um, with the ten of swords it might be something within ourselves that we're transforming <clears throat> And, and, you know, whatever it is, this is going to look like something totally different. That's the point of this card is to say that, yeah, that, that stuff might have been hard. It might have looked like there was no color in your world. Um, and, and you needed even maybe a different form for the different type of life that <laughs> you were living or whatever timeline you were on. And now this is like, um, it's... Is coming across as like really high vibrations, a high frequency, um, and transforming into something better for yourself. And and that is so that is like the the issue right here is um and so why is there competition regarding how you transform you? I don't know. Maybe you would know that. I mean. As far as like, well, what is it talking about? It might have something to do with business because the Queen of Pentacles, it might also have to do with uh, how many things are you trying to handle? Because look, the Queen of Pentacles can do it all. This is the uh, motherly character, warm, compassionate, knows how to like get things done for business, knows how to receive. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is skilled at family relations and business relations and and can handle it all doesn't need anybody it doesn't really need her partner so that is that energy it's like crowning you right now it's exhausting this energy makes it look like it's easy <laughs> because if you're stepping into this energy then yeah maybe that's why it's there is for you to use this energy um it also could represent capricorn you have um the moon in reverse, which in Osho Zen Tarot, and this is in the spot, by the way, of the environment. In Osho Zen Tarot, the uh, moon card is about things being unclear because of past life connections. So it's a really specific, that's kind of why I like doing different decks, is because it's a really specific, just very different message here. Something to you is being revealed and it's a past life there's a past life connection to it also there is a feeling of suddenly getting through this stress and coming out the other side and feeling like okay i'm good i popped out on the other side the heart of the matter is the seven of swords in the reverse uh so when the, when the heart can feel like uh it was deceived in some way whatever that is we might not even tell anybody is what i'm getting is that somebody could deceive us and we just not we find out about it but we really don't want to even let them know it's not like experience has taught you that something is not worth the argument at this point but the heart will is still going over what it felt like uh was trying to deceive it and why that's a problem for the heart. Why that is um, maybe the challenge here is it's because there's this big ending and then there's this, this something's going to take new form. So for how you're feeling, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Um, this card, it is it's like the everyday. Um, the everyday things that keep you busy. Um, I also associate with being productive right not lazy productive alert awake working on something busy you keeping yourself busy um and 
that's how you are feeling. So you could be feeling like, hey, something is working out for you. You, you could be really feeling the stress, but at the same time saying, well, I've got one thing that's working out for me. I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna clarify. It's not, it's, it's a focus on, I gotta admit, doing it all. It's a focus on doing it all. Um, so the three of wands is in the reverse for the future energy. This is, um, something that you didn't see coming because it wasn't something you really planned for. There's no good or bad attached to any tarot card, really. I mean, you know, sometimes survival finds it necessary to be anxious about something that you need to find or exhibit more caution. Um, and, and, and so even the nine of swords in that sense is not necessarily bad or good. This is not bad or good. It's not it, but it is telling me that there is something that needs to be thought of a little bit more regarding opening up to different possibilities and possibly aligning yourself in a, like I said, I feel like you could go one way and it not work or some, look, this, this is the card where somebody's pretending like it's, it's okay. I'm happy. I'm here with you. I'm happy or whatever it is, but, but not, or, or pretending that the business is fine when it's not or something like that. This is a card of like pretending. And so the two, the two of wands is actually focused. It's, it's placing your intention. It's planning, perhaps, possibilities, choices. And then you have the Five of Cups uh, for the hope or fear. Uh, and this would be that in this deck, it gives me a, um, a sense that we box ourselves into feeling like things couldn't ever be as good as they were in the past and we and we kind of glorify like i said putting in a box a memory and saying nothing will ever get as good as this and that's um not necessarily being really real with yourself and so this is a combination of clinging to the things that no longer serve you or just getting out of the box about how you are um looking the things that uh, you're still attached to. How are you even viewing these memories? Maybe that's something that maybe we don't want to think about with that four of swords in the reverse. I understand that. Um, <clears throat> all right, so that's the reading. Let me get some clarification now on um, five of wands, competition, parting of the ways. Parting of the ways for some um, soul contracts for some kind of soul connection that feels like um, it's not balanced. It is part of like some kind of deception. It's not balanced. Something wasn't balanced. something about a connection that you would consider a soul mate connection or soul family. This can also rep represent people in or soulmate energy and separation because it might have something to do with past life energy or you may feel like there's a parting of ways because there's some kind of like competitive energy that you're not down with. It's all about finding your voice, though, and saying it. Have you said something? Probably not about this is what I'm thinking. So tell me about, um, I don't really, I, I feel like our understanding of those things are pretty good. You're keeping yourself busy. You're doing the things, you know, the work, doing things like that. Tell me about the moon in the reverse. What is kind of being revealed to you? <sighs> God. God. This is so specific. I'm sorry. It's either something where you're making huge shifts within yourself because you're exhausted. Maybe you're tired of yourself. <laughs> like I've been there, but with um, myself before with self-sabotage or, or drinking or something, you know what I mean? Something where, you know, it can be fixed, but it's like, no, I don't want to do that to myself. <sighs> so it's either that is what I'm saying, 
or this four of wands in the reverse is like, no, you're making actual big moves in the physical um, because somebody didn't redeem themselves and I honestly couldn't redeem themselves. Like I said, this message is just for specific. I truly do think it's for specific people. Like this is this is you saying I can't I can't be part of this because it can never be redeemed back to how I felt before. But you may be still in a box of saying, Oh no, everything's great and holding on to stuff from the past. Possibly. This could represent a move. This could represent um A separation parting of the ways and separation or or um, making big moves I feel I feel like it has to do with these what what seems to be past life connections needing to like emotionally detach because something feels infuriating Okay, Queen of Pentacles, crowning energy. Tell me more about the um, Queen of Pentacles up there. Tell me more about that, if that, who that energy is or what that energy is. Oh, it's an energy that it's saying you're um, quite attached to that has something to do with this, the Seven of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. There's the balance again. There's needing to find balance again. And it's kind of like, I don't know, it's being in limbo where you're like, okay, I've got my feet on this. This isn't moving anywhere. Um, like not wanting to th things to change, but then here with this heart energy, this space right here with this is like, but, it, but it's got to, and like you knowing that got to change. Really exhausted. Somebody wants a lot of your time also. I'm going to say that somebody feels kind of like they're greedy with your time. I don't know uh, who that might be. It might be you wanting to be greedy with somebody else's time. And maybe they're representing the, if, it, if it's coming across as relationship to you. All right. So three of ones. Tell me about the three of ones in the reverse. The ten of ones. Okay. So now you have another message that's like an angel number in a sense because you've got 1010 10, and that means that hey divine timing is at play there is something here that you're putting your absolute all into oh you might get burned out on something or you might not it might just be that something comes to a completion but the ten of wands surprise ending something lifts your burdens something something takes off a, a huge weight oh we have the world and the sun really wow wow this is like happiness times exponentially happiness it's new things Sometimes new relationships, but it doesn't have to be. It can be just like new situations, new circumstances. It can it indicate uh, health and vitality. And, and this could be like, yeah, you did your best, man. Pat yourself on the back. Because this is coming in for you because of all of this effort and what you've like. It's just the scales balancing out what you've already been through. Lots of travel, perhaps, too. You could have Leo energy, Sag energy, uh, Aries energy for this future stuff. Um, so this is when something really great is revealed to us. And of course, there's always more than one thing that's revealed whenever the sun comes out, right? <laughs> there's lots of things that can be seen. Um, tell me about the five of cups. The seven of cups. Mm, okay, it's having many choices and many options. Um, and it's telling you not to be too rose-colored glasses regarding 
feeling like something from the past looked better. There could be substance that causes a some sort of, of, of thinking that's not clear, like it makes it worse. And the lovers here. And this is about really needing to choose something wisely, I think. Um, maybe it's letting go of an addiction or a habit of escapism for something. Yeah, maybe. Hey, if that rang true to you, there's the king of wands. Wow. And it's in the upright. I was going to clarify these. So you got king of wands in the reverse and the king of wands upright. These possibilities up here lead to different timelines. You probably know that. And... And one leads to something that is a really big success, big success. And if you focus on building it um, and being really clear, one with your attentions, but uh, two with your attention. So being clear with your intentions and being clear with your attention and how that is even handled is important. Tell me about the two of ones here possibilities. Oh, you know, it's interesting is that I was talking about that card about how it's not necessarily bad or good because sometimes worry get, keeps us or anxiety can stop us from choosing the path where we didn't succeed, right? Unnecessary worry. Change your thoughts, change your life. Five of Swords in reverse, coming out of a conflicted period something that you have control over that um nine of swords so wow i didn't mean to go on that long i'm sorry <laughs> it's just a celtic cross um but yeah that's, so that's what i've got for you all i'm gonna pull um oracle of genetic gifts and then uh wrap this reading up if you want a private reading feel free to reach out to me in the description box is my address it's only 22 dollars. that's not a bad price for a reading and um, well, we can get you one of those. Turnaround time, by the way, is 24 to 48 hours. It just depends on what in line, like where you come in line. Okay, so I put an X through the Twitter because of the X. <laughs> All right, spiritual involvements or participations. Um, and then it looked like there's another one, a tarot card reader, healer, teacher, guidance, spiritual knowledge. Nice. Seven. Ooh, a bit of a challenge there. Seven, seven. The dreamer, life path number seven, the ruling planet Neptune. I have master number 22, the architect, ruling planet Pluto. What that is all about major change and transformation. It is about something you're building too. That's great. Astral projection, out of body experience, OBE or teleportation, a Facebook platform, a spiritual posts and activities, and I've got 12 ascension number 12. Guide humanity towards a multi-star system. Nothing little. <laughs> Fortune. Um, cookies and fairy dust is the next if we if you get any fairy dust you might not i just keep getting fortune cookies <laughs> i gotta pick one i can't not have a fairy dust okay lead the way I have lead the way take the reins today others will follow if you lead the way which is exactly what the number 12 thing was talking about um, opportunities, an important offer will be made. Be prepared and dress to impress. Travel, long distance communication will open up in your life. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. Sexuality, existing relationships could find new passion and heighten sexual attraction. Opportunities for marriage and a good family life are strong, but if single, beware, temptation could lead to trouble. And then it has a separate line, a child will bring great joy. I also have twists and turns, carefully made plans could be thrown out the window, such as major changes or interruptions will surround you. Make sure you get lots of rest to cope with the upheaval. Yeah, nature, interact with nature and the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good for the soul and healing for you. 
I also have change, a change of residence, partner, career, or job is on the cards. You're restless in need of a change, and that is exactly what's coming your way. And that is what I've got for you. Signs of Cancer, sending you love and light. Thanks so much for joining me. Like and subscribe, and come back for your next energy reading. Bye-bye.